When massive stars die, their final form depends on their mass. Some become neutron stars, others collapse further into black holes. Both are born in supernovae, but the difference lies in whether gravity can be resisted. If the collapsing core is below about three solar masses, neutrons themselves can withstand the pressure, creating a neutron star. But if the mass is greater, even neutrons buckle and gravity wins absolutely, forming a black hole from which nothing, not even light, can escape. This dividing line makes neutron stars and black holes cosmic cousins, both corpses of stellar death, yet radically different in their nature and visibility. The comparison is profound. Neutron stars are visible through their radiation, pulsations and magnetic fury, while black holes hide behind event horizons, revealing themselves only through their effects on nearby matter. Together they define the extremes of physics. One crushes matter into neutrons, the other erases matter into a singularity. Studying both tells us about the boundaries of existence itself. Neutron stars test nuclear physics. Black holes test general relativity. They are not enemies, but partners in our search for cosmic truth, showing us what happens when stars die and gravity writes its final verdict.